All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is gonna be a fresh unboxing of the BSR Racing Basher BZ888. This is Hobby King's 1.8 skill four wheel drive buggy. Now this thing is pretty cool and this is actually my first Hobby King vehicle. I've actually only purchased uh, some miscellaneous items and of course tons of batteries from Hobby King in the past, uh, but this is going to be my first unboxing of an actual vehicle, which I'm pretty excited for and I've already taken a, a little peek inside the box and pretty astonished for the price that this thing goes for versus what you actually get in the box, which is pretty cool. Now they do have an ARTR or basically a vehicle that has no batteries, no charger and no radio system. Um, I chose the RTR version just because I want to check out their radio just to see what you know what's really included so this is the rtr version no batteries or no charger is still included with this thing but you do get the radio system already pre-installed bound up ready to go you just need to drop in your own uh, set of two 2s lipos to get this thing powered up on 4s so this is a true 1.8 scale buggy and uh, in its sense the basher title over here uh, you could do some serious damage with this thing and and come away from the track or the bash spot pretty much unscathed. So um, we're gonna take a, a quick little look around the box here and then we will get this thing out of the box. So it is brushless, it takes two 2S LiPo batteries. I'm not sure the configuration if they're stacked or if they're saddle, um, kind of saddle pack style of 2S. You do have metal gear diffs and you do have an alloy chassis. So let's flip this thing around to the other side here to some of the other nice little pictures and whatnot. Um, already seeing that blue canned motor right there. That thing's pretty pretty large. Um, so looks like a, somewhat of a, a rebranded, uh, maybe a Hobby Wing style um, ESC, uh, but definitely seeing lots of aluminum on this build. I'm already seeing the top plate here, the shock towers, the um, shocks appear to be aluminum, at least from the picture before I get into this thing. Um, I'll have full links to all of this thing down in the video description, so please check that out as well well um, straight over to hobbyking.com now on the far side over here that's where I was talking about ARR or, or RTR I've always been known as ARTR uh, or almost ready to run here's some of the specs on it uh, you can kind of pause that video and check some of that stuff out 1965 kV motor so that's gonna be lots of torque on that thing on 4s so that'll be nice hundred amp waterproof ESC Pretty nice little specs there. So let's get this thing out of the box. All right, so I went ahead and got everything out of the box and actually did a little bit of assembly here. Now in the box, the wing does not come installed, uh, nor do any of the stickers come pre-installed on this body. So you do have to uh, be careful. Uh, there is some kind of uh, uh, film on the outside of the body, mostly to protect it, um, but just peel that off before you stick the stickers on or your stickers will come right off. So it does come with a couple of sheets of stickers. I actually found this one in with the um, the actual wing and then this one right here came with um, the actual body so it actually gives you a little placement sticker here too to show you where just some suggestions on where to put things so lots of extra stickers I just kind of placed on a few of the badging for BSR and then of course the BZ888 logos so um, with that also in the box you do get an owner's manual which seems to be pretty decent um, has some option parts and just general diagrams and of course uh, if this is your first rc it's going to give you all of the you know kind of warnings and instructions on how to use your uh, new uh, rc car so pretty cool little owner's manual uh, you also get a bind plug uh, that was found inside the owner's manual as well um, and this would actually be to bind your radio to your car if that happens to come unbound. So keep that, uh, I usually just kind of keep it in the tray of the actual radio. A um, Couple of body clips also came pre-installed on this, so it's nice to have those. And here's the radio, 2.4 gigahertz, um, has everything you would need in an RTR um, radio, nothing too fancy. Um, it does take um, eight AAA batteries, so be prepared for that. Uh, quite a few batteries that need to go in there. Standard these days is pretty much four 
AA batteries, but you do have your steering trim, throttle trim. You have your steering dual rate down here, which is a little bit unique for this radio. Um, you get uh, throttle and steering reversing, and then some LED lights for how much battery life you have left. Overall, the feel of the radio, pretty decent, kind of a light wheel, um, and then a little stubby antenna here. So, but all in all, pretty decent um, uh, starter radio if you want to get into RC. So with that, here is the Basher BZ888 from BSR Racing. Um, pretty cool little design, and I'm already seeing all of the bells and whistles here uh, right off the bat. First thing I wanna talk about are the tires and the, and, and the wheels. Just a black dish wheel. You do have 17 millimeter hubs on this thing with um, 17 millimeter uh, aluminum lock nuts, so pretty nice. Uh, the rubber on it feels pretty soft and pretty pliable. Um, very similar to like a Proline blockade style tire, so nice little small pin design Design. Pretty much going to be good for almost anything, but probably will excel on the dirt. Um, with that, body is your standard Lexan body. Um, seems to be screen printed underneath, so it's not really a painted body, uh, but nonetheless, you know, your standard buggy body. Um, doesn't, uh, you, you know, pretty much any buggy body won't get damaged too much because it's an open wheel design, so very different from a short course style of uh, truck. So that's the body. Let's take a look at this design here. So pretty unique design. This comes with a stamped aluminum uh, chassis here. Very nice uh, eight scale designed chassis, uh, very nice overall. Uh, really quick on the electronics, there's that 1965 KV Motors, I believe it is what it was badged. Um, pretty nice, pretty large can, not quite as round as a typical eight scale, a little bit narrower, but just as long, so it's gonna have plenty of torque. Appears to be using Mod 1, um, uh, pinion and spur, it does have a steel spur I'm feeling there. There we go. So it's gonna be quite of a loud vehicle uh, with a steel spur. Uh, you do have that 100 amp um, uh, waterproof brushless uh, speed control with a waterproof switch right there. It does come with these kind of proprietary Hobby um, King adapters here for your batteries, but you, nonetheless, you get two of them here, so you can plug into two 2S LiPos right here, and, and kind of what I was talking about, the saddle packs. Um, I've seen those in other vehicles before. Servo seems to be unbadged, but as I start to move it around, it does have a servo saver. It does sound pretty decent, so we'll have to uh, see how that goes down the line. With that, this is where all of the upgrades will start to hit you here. So you do have an, um, that looks to be a stamped aluminum top plate right here. It appears to be, it might be plastic. Kind of hard to see, it's kind of that matte finish. So very kind of uh, <laughs> deceiving there at first. But you do have stamped aluminum front and rear shock towers. You do have aluminum threaded body shocks. And of course those aluminum caps are really nice too. So the um, shock shafts seem to be pretty large, almost like a four millimeter, maybe a 3.5 to four. But you do have four millimeter turnbuckles on all all six corners, both the front, the rear, and the steering. Um, so you have some pretty good design there. You are running on CVDs up front, which is really nice. Get you extra steering right there. And then of course, dog bones in the rear. You do have front and rear sway bars, very thick ones, I've gotta, gotta say, especially the rear, that, that, one, that one's just huge. So hopefully this thing will uh, take the abuse there. As far as the spring rate and the dampening, the rear feels perfect. The front right here, just feels a little bit under dampened, so I'm gonna have to check out the, the shock oil in there to see exactly what it looks like. Um, as far as the plastics, they seem to be pretty decent here. You're looking at uh, the front and rear A-arms. Very nice, typical uh, buggy design. You have that stamped aluminum chassis right there, and of course the little bulge right there for the diff cups, or the bevel gears that are running inside there. All metal gears. Now that's what it states on the uh, box. So you do have that metal spur and of course metal bevel and uh, pinion gears riding on those diffs. So we'll have to inspect later to see if there's actually any fluid inside. I would imagine there's probably just grease to just get you going. So, well guys, that is it. I'm looking at the center drive shaft here. It does have a center diff in there and also appears to be a steel drive shaft going from the center and also from the center to the front. So very, very nice. You do have adjustable Ackerman. I'm just <laughs> looking at this thing, just amazed at how much technology is in for just a, such a small price tag. Adjustable Ackerman, that's an, also an, a stamped aluminum Ackerman bar right there. So. 
gosh, lots of points of adjustment on this thing. You will go nuts adjusting this thing just to get it all fine tuned for where you're gonna run it. Well guys, that is it. That is my unboxing of the BZ888 from BSR Racing and Basher from Hobby King. I can't wait to get this thing out running and have some fun with this thing. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please post them on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.